Hey guys, this is a quick DIY on how to put slime in your fat tire bike, and this is the reason why. I actually got a few goat head thorns on the last ride, so the slime actually stopped it from leaking out, which is good. So, basically all you need is basically, um, well, your fat tire bike, your uh, some tire sealant. I got these slime ones. These aren't bicycle ones, but they will work. Alcohol, rubbing alcohol, you know, no nose pliers, some really thin ones. Um, yeah, I'm just pointing out that it needs those accessories. This is a pretty old bottle of slime. A few Q-tips to clean up the no the tip, nipple, and an air compressor. So, basically, I'm just going to release all the air with the needle nose pliers to on the Schrader valve. Now yeah, that's pretty much all, all the air is taken out. I'm going to get rid of the, uh, unscrew the Schrader valve using the new nose pliers, going counterclockwise. There you go. Be careful, it might pop out, so just make sure you go slowly when you're taking them out. And right now we're just going to go ahead and put, um, check the slime. This is actually a 20, bought off 24 ounce of slime that I bought for about $7. You know, it's better than the bicycle ones, which is 8 bucks, $8 for like 4 ounces or whatever it is. But this is pretty much the same thing. It dries up to have a goo. So go ahead and put the attachment on it, just a hose, and put it into the nipple, and basically pump about 2 to 3 to 4 ounces in it. For this tire, I basically put about roughly three to four ounces, which is basically a few squirts. I, I basically divide up the bottle into, it's 24 ounces, so I divide the bottle into roughly six sections, and I just squirt enough into it. It's approximately three ounces to four ounces. The good thing about fat tires is that, you know, the low pressure, you're, you got, you're able to use this slime and, and sealant versus like some high pressure tires don't really like it at all. It makes it imbalanced. So after you put in the, the three to four ounces or three ounces, <clears throat> you use those Q-tips and just clean the nipple. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, use a little bit of alcohol to clean it so that there's no residue in the nipple so that the threads um, for the valve actually go through correctly and nothing gets clogged. You know, using alcohol Makes it clean quickly, and I'm using about three Q-tips here just to wet it, clear it, wet it, clear it. That's so that it won't, there's nothing that gets caught in it. But sometimes you have to pull a little of the con out so that it can you know, go deeply in there and clear the, clean the threads. Yeah. Just a few times and make sure it's nice and clear and clean. Notice that my the nipple of the tire is actually not exactly uh, it's on the side like that. It's not on the bottom. It's not on the side. It's roughly at about seven o'clock or eight o'clock. That's so that if any of that goo gets stuck, it will go back into the nipple. It will go straight to the bottom of it. And there you have it. Now we'll go go ahead and use replace uh, reverse the process and put the valve back in. You know, and screw it in both the new nose pliers. Make sure you don't put it in too tight, just tight enough so that it's all the way in. And it should be pretty snug. You don't have to put that much pressure on it, as long as it doesn't leak air. Pretty simple. And then just take six a little more time to screw it all in clockwise. And we're pretty much in there. Now I'm just going to go there, put my air pump to work. I could use a hand pump or a floor pump, but this is a lot faster. I don't have time to set down. I don't think I have to do it ever before. But this just makes it a lot faster. I put about 25 pounds, and this thing could hold up to 30, but 25 should be fine. And it's really, uh, really tight. 
for minor thorns, this will actually stop it. This uh, this slime will actually stop and seal the tire. Um, so after you're done putting all that stuff in, everything's closed off, no air leaks or anything like that. So even though there's a little air leak, the slime will take care of it. So you know, just go lift it, spin it around a few times, make sure it coats it, spin it out again in a few minutes. Um, so if there's any of the small little thorns, it would take care of it. And you know, most of the times the little tiny goat heads are taken care of with like one treatment of slime. Uh, but I think the best thing is actually to put like Mr. Tuffy or some other liner in the tire so that little thorns like that wouldn't affect it at all. But anyways, that's up to you guys. I'm not interested in paying like 50 bucks for a liner. But seeing that these tires are so expensive to replace, I'll put some sealant in it and just make sure they we get more mileage off them. Anyways, but the things about these sealants is that they do dry up and after a few years it might just you know ruin your tube. But Overall, they stay pretty moist over the years. That bottle I've kept over eight years already, and it's still there. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this is a quick tip for you know the fat tire thing. I'm pretty sure other people have fat tires that have better tips and stuff, but it's coming to become winter season, and there'll be more fun videos. See you next time, guys. Please like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. See you next time.